Pressure canning is a common way that people use to preserve food safely for future use. Microorbit organisms can be killed by subjecting them to high temperatures. So in order to reach these very high temperatures, people often will try to boil the substances they want to preserve, but boiling only can reach a temperature of about 100 degrees Celsius, which may not be enough to kill the microorganisms. One may need to reach higher uh, temperatures, and that can be done by use of pressure canning using a, a pressure cooker. In order for a liquid to reach its boiling point, the vapor pressure above the liquid must be equal to the atmospheric pressure exerted on the system. The higher the pressure exerted on the system, the higher the temperature it's going to take to reach the vapor pressure that will equal it. So in other words, a higher boiling point. By trapping in the vapor and not allowing it to escape and continually increasing the temperature, this can drive the boiling point up well past 100 degrees Celsius to 130 degrees Celsius, for instance. When you reach temperatures like that, you actually get to the point where you are effectively killing the microorganisms that could cause sickness. Normally, you will find that pressure cookers measure the pressure in pounds per square inch. The atmospheric pressure or that we feel most of the time is near about 14 to 14.7 pounds per square inch. We are going to try to get, in Idaho it turns out, one wants to reach about 14 pounds per square inch above the 14 that we feel here in atmospheric pressure. So we want a total of about 28 to 30 pounds per square inch. And so the dial that you see on the pressure cooker is the pounds per square inch that is above the, nor the, the uh, atmospheric pressure. When the PSI uh, reaches 15 uh, in the pressure cooker, that means it's about 30 PSI, and the boiling point, the temperature inside at that point, is about 120 degrees. And when we get down to about 12 PSI, where we're shooting right around 26, 27, it's more like 117 degrees. And so that's where the canning is. With any luck, the food will taste delicious, and you won't get sick when you eat it.